This is a Singer 178-1. It is a buttonhole stitcher. It's an industrial machine made for a small shop that does small production runs requiring sewing on two or four hole buttons on items like doctored vests, uh, regular overcoats, as well as pharmacist white coveralls as they would have produced in the early 1940s to late 1950s. This machine is assumed to be built sometime between 1947 and 1951 based on the serial number. It is designed to operate with a hand crank and allow the operator to quickly stitch two or four hole buttons. The operator can select back here with two or four holes to stitch the machine and it is done by setting up the work piece under the foot here. This is the part that secures the button in place. To operate it, the operator will push this safety clutch, allow him to activate the machine and begin sewing. When the machine reaches the end of his operation, the cam will engage and lock out the machine from going any further and allow the operator to remove the work piece from the machine. It has an automatic thread cutter. It allows them to go on to the next workpiece and continue building. This was a very efficient design for its time before computers. It allowed the small shops to be able to do repairs or manufacture on small scale production without having to change any parts of the machine. So this would have been a task specific machine at that time. The machine opens up with a locking hinge here and allows you to access the bottom of the machine for maintenance, oiling, and also adjusting the width of the button stitch with this system back here. It requires the wrench to loosen it up and move it back and forth to adjust for different width buttons. It also has a locking cam here which disengages the machine so that the operator can remove the button from the workpiece without going over.